Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel, and uh, it's interesting to read the comments. So, you know, from what I see is that there's a certain number of you guys that got no problem paying an extended fee. So if you uh, want to have more than, you know, go f further than 2025, October 2025 for Windows 10, um, there's quite a lot of you that, yeah, I'll pay for extended support. And of course, there's the uh, I won't pay for extended support crowd also, which is um, maybe a little more, um, a little bigger in numbers. But uh, it's interesting to see Microsoft kind of going that way. Um, it, you know, it was obvious that extension would probably happen. But what we probably thought for the most part uh, is that that would be, you know, free, like it happened in the past. But now um, Microsoft opens up, of course, a possibility. Some people say, oh, well, you know, that's the uh, the first start of checking out if a Windows 365 paid subscription would be something that would work. Um, I don't know. Could that be testing waters? I'm not sure about that. I don't think a, um, a Windows that would be a subscription would actually work in today's models of how things work on PCs and so on. Um, it is interesting also what will be the fee. They, they haven't said anything about that. But I think first thing that it does is that it does confirm that we have three years extension available to Windows 10. And that has been decided. Uh, and we know that it's going to come forward in 2025. Now, what would be a fee? What would be a reasonable fee? And, you know, I get a lot of people say, well, you know, we shouldn't pay for Windows. We already pay for Windows. If you have a, uh, a operating system on your system, if, if you have a paid, um, you know, like purchased a PC with Windows on it, you, you paid a license for it. And it does have an end. And there's some people saying, well, you know, this is a breach of contract. It's uh, it shouldn't be, uh, well, it's not. They do what they want. The contract does stipulate that, you know, Microsoft does pretty much what it wants with Windows. So it's going to be interesting uh, to see what would be, you know, a fee. Some were saying, well, you know, if there's 500 million people still using Windows 10 back in, when, when we get to 2025 and say they charge $20 per year, it's still quite a lot of money. And yeah, definitely. Um, and that definitely is going to be something to think about for Microsoft in a way to make money, more money off of Windows, basically. And, you know, Windows 10 was free, was free for upgrade, was free for, for those that didn't buy a PC or for, for those that upgraded their old PC. Um, I mean, you know, uh, personally, I think if the fee isn't very high, yeah, it's not a bad deal to, you know, get your PC is still running for three years. Um, when you think that you should buy maybe a new PC, you know, in reality it's like, this is kind of cool because it's, you know, an extension that doesn't cause that much. Um, I think it's mostly comes as a surprise and that's really the big, the big problem. The funny thing is, and, and they're not totally wrong. Yes, of course, people that will be stuck continuing paying for extended support or unsupported hardware people, that's for sure. But at the same time, um, presently, the latest statistics show that almost half of the PCs that are running Windows are capable of moving to Windows 11. It's close. It's like 46%. So one of the things I think that will also do is well, you get Windows 11 that's free, so a lot of people are going to just move on to Windows 11. It's going to force people to Windows 11, or maybe 12 even, depending on what the minimum requirement is. Uh, will I pay for extended support to Windows 10? Um, probably because of what I do. Um, not because I want to necessarily, because I would move on probably to something else. And this PC can't go to Windows 11, but there's the little trick for unsupported that could be used that I could move it to Windows 11 if I wanted to. Um, I might choose to move it to something else also. I might choose to move this machine to a 
a Linux distro or something. But for the most part, um, I will probably be paying the extended support because depending on the number of people that are still on Windows 10. But I think it comes as a surprise. So there's the good news and the bad news, I guess, um, the good news. We know that now three uh, three years of extended support will exist. Uh, the bad news is it's going to be a paid support. But how much? And that is the big question. How much will it cost? You know, uh, is it going to be a yearly fee? Every year you just pay your little fee and get the extended support. Of course, there will be probably some out there that will find tricks to kind of cheat. So anyways, we'll see how all of this happens, but uh, it's interesting, and um, it's fun to see the reactions um, of everyone. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.